Marina Piskakova, Bruce Harris, and Juliana Dobacci. What do they have in common? They are human rights defenders. Human rights are the rights that a person has as a human being held by all persons equally, universally, and forever. Speak Truth to Power is a series of monologues based on interviews with human rights activists from all over the world about the challenges that they need to face or battle. One of the characters that I play is named Juliana Dobaji. Uh, she's from Ghana and um, she spent 17 years being enslaved by a priest in a shrine where she's from. And uh, her story is that she actually escaped and what she does is she goes back to the shrines and tells everyone her story very secretly, it's very dangerous, but she hopes that by spreading what she does that she can enable other women to do the same thing, to get away. These long suppressed voices have come to be heard. In this dark play, eight actors portray the numerous voices of the activists and two actors challenge those voices. This play will definitely strike a chord with the audience. If we look at the media here in the United States, um, world news is given to us in these manageable kind of bite sizes. Uh, so we don't get the full impact of what it means to have terror and starvation in the world. With a play like this, it forces an audience into a dialogue. We're talking at them, we're talking to them, and we're forcing them to engage with us. So they have to listen and they have to know that this is happening right now and it could happen to them. And what would they do in these circumstances? This play celebrates the courage of these activists and urges others to be involved in the process because a lot of things are still need to be done. The fact that some people still need health care, some people still need basic necessities such as food and home. One of the messages of the play is, is that it only takes one person um, to make a difference in the world. One person can start a revolution, one person can feed the hungry, one person can do so much in this world and they can inspire other people. Human rights violations occur everywhere in the world, even in this country. When a parent abuses a child, when women are paid less than men, or when a person steals from another, human rights are an everyday issue. I'm Andy Orr reporting for Tiger TV. I on LSU.